Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Hey, I love Liz's dress. Awesome. So pretty. Mine's blue. Where you guys want to dinner? I didn't enjoy it. I didn't even How get did to get go? shotgun. I ran. <laughs> Most of the questions. <laughs> yeah, and she's getting ready to go to cardio. Get your feet off oh. of my dashboard. I gotta stretch out before cardio, Miss Bertrand. You've seen people that hurt their legs up there. Children. Jeez. Last time I went, my entire body ached for days. If we uh, we're not walking tomorrow correctly, we'll know. <laughs> We'll know why. <laughs> we did it right. I told her you guys were coming tonight, so I told her to make it extra hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is virtual. Yes. Uh, gotta get fit for that uh, prom. I can't wait. I'm Where are you guys going for dinner? McCormick and Schmitz. Where's that? Um, it's on the Fountain Square. I'm so tired. Dude, I'm starving. You guys gonna go out to eat? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm hungry, dude. Butterbeer? Nah, I'll throw the roses. Uh, Check out my mom's car and we can swap them. Good game, guys. Uh, hey, thanks, Paul. Hey, thank you, Are you guys going to prom? Yeah. yeah. Are you? No, I don't think so. Why? Because, like, I'd rather just go on a cute date. Yeah, I know, prom. but, like, I've already been twice, so I don't really feel like I'm going to miss out on much. You, like, have to But go. it's your, it's senior year, like, that's where it's the most hype. <laughs> have you seen our class? <laughs> oh, yeah. But you'll miss it, you'll, I think you'll regret it next year. I don't know, we'll see. I, I really just don't want to go. Dude, we got that win today, though. Finally, bro. It's hey, there's a banger. Ever. It's a pop. Turn it up. Alright. If you like this song, I guess. <laughs> Definitely sleeping. Sorry, I'm tired. Well, I'm working, so. What's 
the oh heck? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. No. She knows her. She... Does she see that car? Nine one one. What's your emergency? There was a crash on sixty eight. It looks really bad.
I'm Stephanie Dyer, I'm the funeral director. I'm Thank awfully you. sorry for your loss. Thank you. Come on in, we'll have a seat and we'll hear over things. You have a seat right there. Before we get started, won't you tell me a little bit about Alex? Uh, great student, great athlete, great kid. Just very upsetting. Yeah, imagine. Well, we're going to do everything we can to get you through this part. And um, so if we're going to start off, I'm going to take down some information so that we can create a death certificate. Okay. As well as we're going to have to pick out a casket and a burial vault and different things for as far as the service goes with flowers. So the first thing I need to do is I need his full name. Alexander Bolton. His address? 1196, North Moore Pike. His date of birth? 4501. The city and state of his birth? Cincinnati. Need your full name. Dan Bolton. His mother's name. Alicia Height, deceased. And what year of schooling was he in? Senior. Have you been anywhere to purchase cemetery plots? Or do you have any cemetery in a cemetery in mind? I, I don't, nothing yet. Okay, did you have in mind which one um, that you might want to use? Maybe the one where his mother is. Okay, um, I can, if you don't have the information to contact them, I can give you that information before we leave here today. <clears throat> okay. Have you given any thought of where you would want the services? Uh, Georgetown. You want them at the funeral home? Yeah. Okay. So. What day would you like to do those? Would a weekend be better for you? That way the kids would be out of school and Probably different things? Okay. Yeah. Are you wanting to do it all in one day? I would like to do it all in one all day. All in day. Get out of the way. Okay. This is our general price list. By law, we're required to provide these for all the families that come in. It's a list of all of our services that we provide. And then on this sheet here is a list of all the burial vaults that we have that we can show you. It's not a state law to use a burial vault, but in the state of Ohio, or I'm sorry, not state of Ohio, but in the cemeteries in this area, they do require burial vault be used. So you will have to purchase that today. In this pamphlet here, you're gonna find a list of all the caskets that we have here on the floor that we can show you. Um, there's all different types of materials that they're made out of. Um, there's 20 gauge, 18 gauge stainless steel and wood caskets. We've also have some copper and bronze. Most of the caskets that are over here that you're going to see are a um, like a fourth of a cut, but it gives you the idea of the coloring and the, the hardware and the different materials that's on the inside of it. But we do have some full-size caskets. Do you have any questions up to this point in regards to that? I don't think so. Okay. Well, we'll go over here and look at some caskets. on in here and like we discussed earlier the different sizes of the caskets and the different colors that we have we have samples of these on the floor so you give you an idea of what's available and the different materials as far as woods or metals over here you have the full-size caskets this one here is a good example to start with you can get it in multiple colors you can personalize it you can get like here it says beloved son brother 
you can get things upon the corners, just the sports that he enjoyed playing. But this one also comes in, like I said, they come in multiple colors, if he had a favorite color or anything like that. Did he have a favorite color? Red. Red. So if you want, I'll give you some time to look at these caskets, and then um, I'll be back in if you have any questions. Maybe see it, thank you. This is a continuation of the March 20th, 2019 docket of the Burn County Common Police Court. We are in the criminal division of said court on the matter of State of Ohio versus Noah Pack, case number 2019-2500. The matter was assigned on the court's docket for sentencing. The defendant having entered a plea of guilty to count one, aggravated vehicular homicide, 290306A2A, a felony of the third degree. Count two, aggravated vehicular homicide, 290306A2A, a felony of the third degree. Count three, aggravated vehicular homicide, 290306A2A, a felony of the third degree. Count four, aggravated vehicular homicide, 290306A2A, a felony of the third degree. And lastly, in count five, vehicular assault, 290308A2B. The defendant is present, represented by counsel Ms. Hopkins, the state of Ohio, by prosecuting attorney Mr. Corbin. Um, Ms. Hopkins, is there any reason why we cannot proceed to sentence today? No, Your Honor. Anything that you want to say on behalf of your client? Yes, Your Honor. Noah Pack is an 18-year-old kid who made a terrible mistake. He's a lifelong resident of Georgetown. His parents, Mark and Laurie Pack, are here with him today to support him. Noah's the youngest of five kids. He's a senior at Georgetown High School. He's very popular, friendly, and outgoing. He's a hard worker in the classroom. He gets good grades. He's a good student. He's a mentor for, you know, for the Gene and Lee program for the past three years and serves as a role model for the young boys at the Georgetown Elementary School. Noah's a tremendous athlete. He's broken lots of records and get, has gotten a lot of recognition for his abilities and his hard work. He earned a full ride to Thomas More University and he is or was planning to pursue a career in uh, finance. Noah's never been in trouble before, not even a speeding ticket. This was a tragic accident caused by a kid. No one's a victim of his, of his mistake, too. He lost friends, a beloved teacher. He's injured others physically, emotionally. He would take it back if he could, but he can't. We're asking that the court take these things into consideration at sentencing. Thank you. Are there any family members who want to speak on his behalf? Under the podium, please address the court. What is your name, sir? My name is Mark Pack. Go to dad. Um, I mean, it's a huge mistake our son's made. Um, just like Ms. Hawkins said, he's a really good kid. Doesn't get in trouble. Um, other than not cleaning his room. <laughs> um, he's lost some great friends in this. 
It's not only people that won't talk to him, but the, the, the wise deeds in it. Uh, I'm asking you to lead it to your honor. Anything there? He's my baby. And he's a good kid. He's a good heart. And he's affected the lives of a community and many families. And we are extremely sorry for his actions and the decisions that he made on that day. And just don't take my baby from me. Well, you uh, understand that when he gets in that chair, there's going to be punishment. And there has to be punishment. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Anything else, Ms. Hopkins? I think no one would like to say something. I assume you understand the insufficiency of that statement. You're sitting here with your life in my hands and that's all you're going to tell me? Anything, Mr. Corbin? <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, this is undoubtedly a tragedy of tremendous, tremendous proportion. And it is a tragedy for Mr. Pack, who had a, a bright future by all accounts ahead of him. Uh, I, I don't doubt that he is a good kid. But judge, you have to look at what he did. You have to, to view his behavior on that day and the, the, the resulting tragic loss of life that were occasioned upon so many families because of the decisions that he made. On the day in question, Your Honor, Mr. Pack had no regard for the lives of those around him. He was driving his car up 68, playing on his phone, he was texting, he had his music blaring, he was laughing and joking around with his buddies, paying no attention to the things that were occurring around him. And he pulled out to pass a vehicle because he was in a hurry and he collided head on with a car full of people. And four lives were taken. The life, the life of Heather Bertram, a school teacher, a mother, a wife, a friend of so many is gone forever. She will never, ever be able to hold her children again. The life of Lizzie Miranda. Oh. <laughs> That's a forever. The life of Alex Bullington. Gone forever. The life of Kyle Cornett is gone. None of those folks will have an opportunity to pursue their dreams Action. and their future because of the decisions of Mr. Pack. Do that again. That is not and funny. And finally, Your Honor, Peyton Kennedy, who is here today. Children. They're all girls. He seriously injured in that accident. He had to be air cared. But by the grace of God, he has recovered. He has injuries, but he's going to be okay. But he was hurt badly in that accident as well, Your Honor. We are going to ask you to look at that conduct and the, the results. And we're going to ask you to impose a prison sentence on count one, the aggravated vehicular homicide. We're going to ask you to impose a prison sentence on count two, aggravated vehicular homicide. We're going to ask you to impose a prison sentence on count three, aggravated vehicular homicide. We're going to ask you to impose, impose a prison sentence on count four, aggravated vehicular Ready? homicide. And we're going to ask you to impose a prison sentence on count five, vehicular assault. And we're going to ask you, Your Honor, to run those prison sentences consecutively, one after another, because no one prison sentence can adequately punish Mr. Pack for what he's done. Now at this time, Your Honor, Dan Bowling, the father of two of the victims, father of Alex Bowling and Kyle Cornett, both of whom lost their lives, Dan Bowling would like to address the court. I'll start off with my condolences. Thank you, sir. That day changed my life, bro. And he took it away. I'll never get that back. 
friends. He's, he's got to be accountable for his actions. Action! mistakes sit in that chair because they don't think they don't think that their uh, conduct can cause harm to other people well you now know Mr. Packard will be the sentence of this court as to count one that you served four years in the Department of Corrections pay the costs as it relates to count two that you served four years in the Department of Corrections pay the costs as it relates to count three, that you paid or served four years in the Department of Corrections and paid the costs. As to count four, four years in the Department of Corrections paid the costs. As to count five, 12 months in the Department of Corrections, count one will run consecutive to the sentence imposed in count two. Count three will run consecutive to two and one. Count four will run consecutive to two counts. Three, two, and she one. Does know. She and does count know. five will run concurrent for a total of 16 years. That's pretty good. Great. We'll stand in recess.